Hi friends, I'm Stephanie and I live in my Tesla with my dog Snow and my cat Finley. The Tesla is a Model Y 2020 long range edition and it gets me about 450 kilometers per charge. We've been living in this for eight months full time now and don't have plans to stop. My favorite part aside from the free charging is the amount of storage. I bought these from Amazon. They also had a cooler version, but these ones have been perfect. They're one of the only things that I've actually bought that is specifically for the Model Y. Most of the stuff in here is just random gear that I've come across. I just keep all of my random stuff in here. This whole side is my kitchen gear. I've got pots and pans, an electric kettle that I can plug in, and my teacup and everything. So I can just whip that out when I get somewhere. There's the hot plate. It's teeny tiny, it takes 500 watts. I ended up at the same job for about six years and somewhere in that time I just decided I wasn't doing what was making me happy anymore and I didn't know what to do. So I started looking at buying a van, but they were really expensive and hard to come across in my area. So I decided to just start in my car, which at the time was a 2017 Mitsubishi Lancer. It was just me and Finley at the time. We traveled in that for probably about four months before I met my ex. So this was actually his car. We moved down to the States together and since I was going to be there on kind of a temporary status as a tourist, I wasn't allowed to work. So we had agreed that he would make sure that I was taken care of financially. And when we broke up, he actually gifted me the Tesla to go back to my road life adventures, which I ended up doing all of last summer, which was about five or six months full time. And we've now been on the road for another two already. So we're doing this whole summer again. And with that, let's check out the inside. This video is sponsored by Tribit. Not only does the Stormbox Blast portable Bluetooth speaker have great sound quality with its 90 watt loud stereo sound with X bass to give you that hard bass that really helps you forget the trifles and immerse yourself in music, but it's also waterproof. And thanks to Tribit's run stretch technology, the Stormbox Blast provides 30 hours of dynamic sound, which makes this the perfect portable Bluetooth speaker to take with you wherever you go. Save $40 on your Stormbox Blast portable Bluetooth speaker by clicking the link in the description and use code FLORB10 at checkout. And remember to subscribe. This is actually where a lot of my stuff does hang out is in this door. I don't have very much cleaning stuff because I use the same product for almost everything, but it just stays here with whatever rag I'm using at the time so that I can grab that. I have Snow's seat. Snow is my dog. He is with me all the time. So I know you're here all the time. So he gets that special seat, which is from Ikea and you can brush pretty much everything off of it. And then underneath his bed, I have pretty much all of my other big gear. So I've got my water here. I think this is 2.5 gallons. My pantry stuff and condiments in this bin here. And my tiny, tiny cooler. That's all I'm using for my food storage. I actually keep an empty yogurt container in here. And I just fill that with ice when I get to like a McDonald's or something and then keep that little container in here so that I don't have to worry about cleaning up the ice all the time. And there's a yoga mat and my boots hiding in the back corner, as well as all of my dog food and the pet's bowls. Window covers, that's essential also. These ones were also from Amazon and these were one of the other things that I bought that was Tesla specific because they do fit right on each of these windows. So they just pop in once the door is closed and they don't have any insulation on them, but the blackout is really all I need since the car is heated anyway. So that works perfectly. Then the other thing that's hanging out here is my little headrest. I wrap all of the dog leashes that I use around the top of the seat so that I can grab those off easily. And then there's also a dog collar on there that I use to hook a bunch of stuff to. This is kind of Finley's zone. Finley is my adventure cat. He is trained to hang out in his backpack. He's actually in there right now. And I keep his backpack attached to that little collar that I was just telling you about. I've got my little garbage can also attached to that dog collar and then I also have my clothing hamper also attached to the dog collar everything is just on that same thing um, some LED lights these are from empowered I just set it on the front when I'm sitting somewhere sunny and it usually is charged up for me to use whenever I need it I'm really careful as a solo female not to be out and about at night I don't really want anyone to realize that I'm a solo female so once I'm in the car and I'm parked where I'm going to be sleeping I don't get back out of the car ever I wanted to make sure I could still get to all of my bathroom stuff so when I'm sitting in my bed, I can reach right down and grab all of this stuff. So I've got my face wipes, my contact solution, um, some lotion, and then bear spray, of course, because I'm in the mountains all the time. So I did want that to be somewhere 
super easily accessible also. And the last thing on this slide that's really important is my Blue Eddy battery. I've got the 800 watt. It just lives kind of under the bed there, but that's how I power my little electric kettle, um, my little hot plate, and sometimes some random charging stuff too. I'm pretty careful in here with the 12 volt plugs. There's one actually right beside me here, but I've heard a couple horror stories of people frying their 12 volt plugs with um, like third party devices like the kettle or like phone chargers, anything like that. So I use these if I really have to, but most of the time I use the Blue Eddy. I think that there's a lot of misinformation being shared. Some of the top things I've heard is that you can't drive them in the cold, which is not true. They do charge a little more slowly, but you can absolutely drive them and it's totally fine. I've slept in this at minus 30 degrees Celsius and it kept the whole interior above 21 degrees all night and we still only used 18% of the battery. One of the other things is that people think there might not be enough chargers. We've never had an issue finding a charger, to be honest. The only two places that we've had a little range anxiety, just where it gets a little close, was um, the Mojave Desert so far and Montana. At this point, the supercharging network is incredible. They're just the most expensive option usually. They're like $25 for a full charge, which again, that's like 450 kilometers. So that's less than any tank of gas I've ever bought still but it's also the most expensive of the energy options currently available. But it charges within like half an hour or 45 minutes. I also sleep a lot of the time at chargers. I'll find the slowest charger that I can possibly find and hopefully the cheapest, usually free if I can swing that. I'm actually on a three week stretch where I haven't paid for charging at all. I have used a free charger every single time I've needed charging. So I have had zero electricity bills in the last three weeks, which is amazing. One of the downsides of charging though is that a lot of the chargers don't have bathrooms. So I got really used to using gas stations for the bathrooms all the time. But now that I'm not at gas stations, there's sometimes not a bathroom. So you kind of have to plan that into the routine sometime as well. At the back, Snow thinks that he is the star of every show. So he's probably going to sing to us. He just turned two and he's been traveling with me pretty much this whole time. Yeah, you have. This is from the back of the car now. You can see kind of how big the mattress actually is. That is a twin size mattress, also from Amazon. I do keep a ton of extra blankets on top and then I just wrap a fitted sheet around all of them so that if I need an extra blanket, I can get into an extra blanket, but I don't have to have them on top of the bed all the time, which is really nice. I did shave down one side here so that it fit the curvature of the car. This is Finley's bed, but they kind of share. Finley usually sleeps in the middle Snow will lay his head on the side and cuddle. It's very cute. I absolutely love it. Um, and then I've got my little Casper blanket back here. I wear this thing all the time. It's like a coat and a blanket. And I wear it, I know, I wear it all the time, don't I? Yeah, that's right. And then the other thing that I've got back here that I feel like is a really helpful hack is my throw pillow cases. They're actually full of all my clothing. I just stash everything in there so that I can lay on it, lounge on it and I don't have to find somewhere to store it all the time. So I've got two of these right now. I need a third so that I can separate things a little better, but this one's all of my bottoms. The other one is all of my tops and that works really well for me. On each side, there's a little cubby. This side has my spring coat in it, some paper towels. They're actually hanging out in my rumple bag so that they don't get destroyed all the time, but that works perfectly. And then I've got lots of wipes back here too because wipes are just, they're amazing when you're on the road. You need them all the time. And then over here, this is actually my art corner. I have my watercolor paints in here. I have a bunch of embroidery stuff, a bunch of like pens and pencils and things also. So I can whip that out. I usually will lay a picnic blanket behind me or something and then I can just relax by the car with all my stuff. Last really exciting thing back here is the other trunk. You can see I actually have fit my solar panels. They were 200 watts. Underneath those is my folding dog kennel for Finley if he's ever, you know, needing a bigger space than his backpack but still needing to be contained. That works really well. This is one of the funniest things I have in the car. It's actually a huge Squishmallow and I found it at Costco, but it matched my colors. So I decided I would use it and see how it went and I love it. It just squishes to whatever shape you need it to. So I move it around a little bit, which is amazing. I have my bathroom bag hanging on the back of the other headrest. I keep everything in that that I would need to shower basically. So like my shampoo and conditioner, just grab that whole bag when I get somewhere like a truck stop or leisure center and take it in with me, which is amazing. And then underneath you can see Finley's litter box. He pops down, uses that, and then I can clean it from either the inside of the car or just right here. This is Finley's little cat food zone. 
and my little tiny first aid kit. Last but not least, the driver's seat. This has got all the stuff that I use when I'm either driving or trying to get ready for the day when I'm just sitting like right in the seat. Solar phone charger, I just set that on the dash to charge. Um, my waterless dog shampoo, because Snow obviously needs that in his life. Um, hand sanitizer. My friend just made me these little 3D printed door stops because my cat is an escape artist and he's actually learned how to open the windows and he will leave the car. That just clips right in under the window knob here and then it stays nice and steady so that the cat can't leave the car without my permission. And then I have my little sunglasses thing, which just fits really nicely right there. And that also keeps him from stepping on it. <laughs> I do have a couple more things hiding over here. This incredible water tote for the boys. It's called, I think a water boy. I tip it up like this. I can, you know, carry it around without spilling. And then down like this, the boys can drink. I typically at night, will just set it up here. This is a CCS charger. That's one of the newer chargers that came out. This is the J1772 plug. It's pretty common now. And then this one has a regular 110 outlet for if you're like at a friend's house and you can plug into the garage or something, that's really helpful, but it charges really, really slowly. So I don't use that one very often. This is usually my go-to. I've got this little guy as well. This is a waterproof blanket from my friends over at Little Helper. They're Canadian. This side absorbs pretty much everything that you put on it and this side repels it. I've got my bathroom stuff in that center console. So I've got like my mascara, my perfume, my nail files so that I can grab it while I'm sitting here and then use the mirror up on the rear view so that I can see what I'm doing because that's the only mirror that I have in this whole situation. I work online now and I'm considering getting into something like DoorDash or Uber Eats. I'm very introverted and I wasn't sure if I would be okay. It's kind of forced me out of my shell. I'm also kind of a homebody. So if I'm in a condo or something like, I'm just in the condo. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not traveling. I'm just there. So this is my condo now and I can take it anywhere and park it. And then even if I want to be a homebody in my condo, I can be somewhere beautiful, which is nice. The Stormbox Blast portable Bluetooth speaker is the perfect speaker to brighten up your journey. If you're headed to the beach, bring your blast because it's IPX7 waterproof. Headed out to the dark forest, turn on the lights that sync to your music and have a dance party. And no more worrying about batteries because thanks to Tribit's run stretch technology, the Stormbox Blast provides 30 hours of dynamic sound and can even serve as a portable power bank. Save $40 on your Stormbox Blast portable Bluetooth speaker by clicking the link in the description and use code FLORP10 at checkout.